within the new establishment of the drugs, uh, we are now moving towards a personalized treatment for sure. So we know that in the past for about 30 years, nothing has changed. But now we know with the molecular advances, and I think that's the main uh, area of interest within AML, uh, things are moving forward by using the small molecule uh, targeted inhibitors, which can actually change the way that not only we delivered intensive treatment with chemotherapy that can actually be very toxic to patients, but also you can add these drugs which are certainly not as toxic as the uh, conventional intensity chemotherapy. Um, and I think this is like a big step forward to define uh, the patients that will actually receive the right treatment for the right patient. For example, you have like FLE3 inhibitors, and at the moment there are about six FLE3 inhibitors. And obviously each of them, they have their own sort of strengths uh, and weaknesses. Uh, and again, through robust clinical trials, we need to identify which are the ones that will benefit the patient, but also to select which are the ones that you will use in the first line, which are the ones that you will select in next lines of treatment, uh, which actually gives a lot of hope because prior to this, you only had the conventional chemotherapy again for both the uh, upfront and the relapse refractory setting. Whereas now, for example, again, given the example of the FLIT3 inhibitors, um, you can actually give uh, substances like quizartinib or giltiritinib in the relapse refractory setting because studies like Admiral or Quantum Mar have shown the actual benefit compared to the standard conventional chemotherapy for this, uh, these small molecules.